Okay, hey folks, um, I'm BTP. Uh, I'm gonna wanna do like this, I'm gonna try out this like little series of videos um, talking about some of the process of writing some of my songs. Um, I have to throw a shout out to Deanna and Mike for pushing me to do this. Um, so you guys are good friends and we'll see how this goes. Um, so today I wanted to talk about Wanna Go Together. It came off of my last album. Uh, and Friends, which was May of 2019, and basically, this is the lead single from that album. Um, and Friends was really designed as like a communal project. Like I wanted to try and bring as many people in as possible, and like do something that was a little less uh, just about me, and a little bit more about all the people that I've worked with um, over the years and recently and just in the community in Tucson in general. So, there you go. Um, Wanna Go Together was the lead single from that album. I thought it would make a good one. I mean, given the communal aspect, the whole Wanna Go Together thing was kind of like, duh. Um, plus the video is really cool. If you're already on this page, I suggest you check out the video because I really like it. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun. So the song starts off with this kind of a G7 chord. Technically, this is a G7. But um, instead of leaving that, that, that G string open, I'm actually uh, got my pinky on the, the B flat there. So it's got this weird, like, uh, dirty quality to it. Anyways, um, so that's really basically the song was all based off of that lick, just that lick. And with that, you can do a lot of things. There's a lot of like. Just all kinds of, all kinds of little licks that you can pull on a guitar, um, which just made it a very open song to kind of play around with. So basically you got the G7 and it goes. And then it goes into this D7 chord. Um, and then the pre-chorus is just this little C thing. Which I use a lot. Um, and then just back to that G. The chorus is where it gets interesting. You have that minor second to that F. The D7 to the G. Wanna go together? Well, I'll be a pop, pop, the dreamer, baby. Um, that's really probably the most movement the song has is right there in that chorus, which is very much on purpose. Um, so basically, I mean, it's it's designed around the, the, just that groove of that bop, 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 which I thought would be a lot of fun with like horns and like the full band, the drums, and the bump, 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 bump. Lyrically, um, it's designed to just be a song about coming together and like having a good time together. Wanna go together. Like it's a very togetherness kind of thing. Wanna go together. Anyways, going into the, the second verse, um, this is where things get got a little bit more fun in the writing process because I wanted to um, and friends was the first album where I was trying to like kind of like signal um, a little bit of my own queerness and my own gender fluidity into the music um, which is just something I'm just coming out about now and um, I want to say thank you guys for all your support on that um, but specifically to this song like that, that second verse. Um, with the, I'm about as complex a lover as they come. I'm a princess undercover, still a son of a gun. I'm about as complex a lover as they come. Well, I'm a princess undercover, still a son of a gun. I got see it for life, I got peace and days. Ain't no use in living just the same old way. That's kind of like, that was my moment to kind of like inflect that. My own gender fluidity and my own queerness into the song. Um, the feel, I got zeal for life, I got feels for days. I really like that line. Um, but again, it's all meant to, to, to like promote an inclusion 
um, and promote like a sense of like we're just out here trying to have some fun. Like you want to go together? Like it's almost like, hey, you want to go to this party? Let's go together. Like you want to go? Let's let's do the thing. Wanna go together? So um, lyrically speaking, that's really what this song is. I feel like it's rooted in. So one of the things that I s you get in the bridge is this actually it switched to like a G minor seven combination more so the well it's it's the lick the lick the guitar is doing is very much an, in the minor but with everybody playing that the actual like seventh stuff the the more major chord it just kind of provided this like tension to the song that I think is really cool. I love, that's one of the things that like Spencer, our trumpet player, and myself and a few other members of the band just always enjoy doing is trying to plug in as many like weird sevenths, ninths, thirteenths, um, you know, adding lots of major over minor type stuff. It, it provides a sense of tension and it provides a sense of like the song is going someplace. So, anyways, that's really the foundation for the song. As far as the production, I gotta say, like, shout outs to Joe and to Ethan for just laying down a very, very propulsive, like, rhythm section in the song. Um, you got Spencer, uh, uh, Spencer O'Keefe on the trumpet, and the dude can wail. Dude really has some fantastic tone. Um,. It's just pretty good. Uh, you got uh, Nico Cotinazzo on uh, keyboards. Um, he was a, a force, force on that album. And so, um, you know, just everybody came in and played a little bit of something on it that was just really cool. I mean, you got the shakers. There's all kinds of things in the background. If you really listen to, to the songs, like, you're hearing all kinds of things. But, again, everything goes back to that sense of, like, trying to build like hey let's go out and have a good time together you want to go together you want to go together anyways that's all i got to say for this apparently i've already talked for like 10 minutes about the song and that's enough so i'll catch you next time want to go together well i be a pop pop the dreamer baby you want to go together Wanna go together